Hey there friends and fellow crafters, it's Leanne and I am here with Scrappy Tails. We are using the Shadow Box Slimline die set, the A7 Cabin Spinner add-on, and the Winter's Essentials die sets. So what I did is I took the snowflakes from the Winter's Essentials and cut them out using uh, Inka Dinka Do masking paper. And I did cut them each a few times and using tumbled glass and my blender brushes i'm just going to do some ink inking on this background that one mask just did not want to stay so i didn't want to completely cover but i just wanted to give the uh, the effect of the snowflakes and i think i did that pretty well so now i am applying some and i did this completely backwards so i'm applying some sizzix double-sided adhesive to the back of this panel of cardstock. I'm putting my dies on, and these are the Warm Winter Wishes. And I'm gonna run those through my little We Are Memory Keepers die cutter. Um, anybody figure out what I did wrong yet? Um, my intention was to uh, ink blend on the words before cutting them so everything was in there and it just completely slipped my mind so i went ahead and said okay let's go with this the way it is and we'll get it figured out so i am working on my silicone craft sheet um so that i'm not messing up my desk and so we're going to fix those words we're going to bring in some shaded lilac and just go ahead and do my ink blending there's that tumble glass making another appearance and now the picked raspberry. And then we're gonna come in and clean up my mat real quick with a wet wipe. There we go. Dry it off, paper towel, there we go. All right, now we're going to start putting the Slimline Shadow Box die set together. Sorry if you hear the squeaker in the background, that is my one-year-old puppy that we replaced his pacifier last night. Um, so I am, like I said, putting this shadow box together and it is so easy to put together. So the back panel that I did with the snowflakes is just going on the back of the shadow box. Now I am using double side tape to adhere everything together. And so there we go. You take the big side of the shadow box and attach it to the little side and now i'm figuring out where i want to put my layers which is the uh snow scope snow slope sorry um and then i just attach it to the one side and then i'll bring it over and first i'm going to go ahead and attach my second one because i want two snowy scenes and i want them to um kind of layer above each other so I have the tape on the back of that and then attach them to the other side and now I'm going to put tape on the last side and attach the front panel completely and then we're just going to start putting all the elements in. I love how this just folds closed and fits in a business size envelope. And just giving you a shot from above as I'm trying to decide how I want to put the deer in there. I am using um, tape runner to just add to the front of the deer's legs. And I'm going to have two of the legs over the panel and two of the legs behind the panel. So it actually looks like they're walking in the snow. Then I'm going to add the little glitter trees that I cut out of glitter paper, glitter cardstock. And then the house and the deer I cut out of shimmer cardstock. And then I added a yellow panel behind the house for to look like the lights are on. Then I'm going to remove the backing off of the Warm Winter Wishes 
and add that to the front and then in just a second or two you will see the um completed project i'm having a little trouble getting the paper off and i do apologize i guess i wasn't thinking about this being a a shot from above but at least you can see how it looks like from the inside so everything will be linked in the description box below that i used please head over to scrappy tales and have a crafty day and there we go with the finished project bye guys